May I please sit down? It's a convergence of professors and other prominent personalities in the academia. As a former lecturer in the United States, Professor Emeka Anyagolu launches one of his latest books titled Rainbow Nation. The book is a historical analysis of apartheid, anti-apartheid struggle, post-apartheid conditions and the contemporary xenophobia in the Republic of South Africa. But the 39 chapter book is more than a mere analysis of events in South Africa. The book reviewer brings the contents close to home. On contemporary xenophobia, Professor Nyagolu linked the unfortunate phenomenon to apartheid policies of depriva deprivation. But, but something else is at work here, according to Professor Nyagolu. Xenophobia is as a result of widening income inequality in South Africa. Clearly, inequality compromises responsible citizenship and dense loyalty to constituted authority. This is a huge lesson for Nigeria as we deal with the many dimensions of our insecurity. Away from the content of the book, a former Minister of State for the Federal Capital Territory stresses the importance of protecting intellectual property rights. Nigerians must continue to encourage intellectual property and protect it. That appears to be one of the difficulties we have today. Professor Anya Golu also underscores the need for government to pay attention to the needs of citizens as a lack of it gave spark to the troubles in South Africa. There are some parallels. What it means that if you have a government that does not pay attention to what the masses of the people need and require, you are going to end up with some problems. And a similar kind of thing may be said to slowly be happening in this country um, and uh, we should take particular